Hey. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Wow. <clears throat> oh, let's start that again. <clears throat> hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tosh Customs, and today we are in the workshop because I want to do a quick showcase of these beautiful suits um, by, I think you say his name, Korai JC or something like that. I'll put a um, I'll put his username inside the description of this video. But I had the wonderful pleasure and honor to um, be putting these suits on figures. I was just doing like the assembly. Basically, I didn't sew these or anything like that, but I was just doing the installation onto the figures. And then I did a couple other mods, obviously, to make the suits um, fit the characters. So I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of these. Um, one, these suits are beautiful. I have no idea how much they cost, but honestly, whatever they cost, they are worth the price. Um, I'm going to put Mr. Knight to the back real quick, but let's look at Black Mask here. And as you can see, he has these little, He's the suit has all these little buttons, and they're just all in line, and they're shiny, and they're just beautiful. Uh, the briefcase, the SMG and the like shoulder pistol holster or chest pistol holster. I just put those on black mask to make him feel a little bit more gangster Just I just threw that on off to the side, but um, yeah, so the, obviously these accessories do not come with it uh, We're just looking at the suit, but the the craftsmanship is just incredible the tie itself is actually adjustable so if you pull the front part of the tie it will tighten the knot and then if you pull the back part of the tie it'll tighten the collar exactly how like a normal Windsor knot tie works which is incredible and it's already pre-tied so all you have to do is just put it around the collar and then you can adjust it to your liking which is awesome um, there is an undershirt a vest a tie as well as a suit coat and then you also have your pants for the black mask figure um, me and the customer are using the official black mask um, exclusive. So we are we have our feet and hands and we didn't have to mod anything there. Um, I did choose to repaint the head ever so slightly. Um, normally the head and neck are almost the same color, kind of like this cold, hard, matte black with a little bit of gray in it. And the neck matched that. And I was like, well, the neck is like fabric. So it shouldn't be matching the head. So I actually painted it a um, darker semi-gloss black. And then um, in the eyes and nose of the head, I actually added gloss black, as you can see in there. Also like around the sides of the teeth right there, I put just a little bit and I'm not sure if the camera's picking. There we go, you can see it right there. You can see a little bit of the gloss right um, under the cheekbone. So I added that in just to bring out some more of the details of his face. And um, now you can actually see the layers of the helmet. So obviously the helmet is the hard outer layer and he's probably either wearing face paint or some kind of fabric um, underneath it. So yeah, just beautiful suits, absolutely beautiful suits. Um, the craftsmanship is incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, taking a look at Mr. Knight now, um, this is the John Wick figure, which is the same body as Black Mask. So, I'm um, sorry, I'm holding my camera with my hand. I don't have a stand for this one. This is just an impromptu little thing. Um, but yeah, so because of that, and because we want to use the Moon Knight head, we had to put in a new neck. So um, it is a little bit loose and you can pop it out with a little bit of force from the base of the neck there, but it does hold. Um, and so then I'm using a Moon Knight neck and I replaced the bottom peg with um, one from one of the Batman figures, if I remember correctly. I'd have to pop it off and look again, but I do believe it was one of the Batman figures. And then we took the Moon Knight head. This one, uh, well, this one actually wasn't a Moon Knight head. This was from one of the red, crimson, dragon, something, something. One of those upgrade kits with the red head. Oh, it was the Doc Nocturnal upgrade kit. Yeah, 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 with the red and gold, red head with gold eyes. So um, sculpted the crescent on the head, and that turned out very nice and then sprayed everything white, and then after that, put bright silver on the crescent as well as the eyes. Um, because this was the John Wick body, obviously I put some new hands on it. Uh, these won't be going to the customer necessarily, these are just ones that I had off to the side, so I was like, I'm just gonna put them on so you can see them in his full look. But uh, what I do wanna point out is that the belt is normally black and so are these shoes. Wow, that's a lot of shine on the shoes there. Good, I painted them bright. Um, so, because of that, I sprayed both of these white, 
And, I, and then I also sprayed a slight gloss layer over, which is why I think the camera is making them ultra shiny looking right now. It can't figure out what's going on. Um, so yeah, so I sprayed both of those with a semi-gloss white. And then for the belt buckle, I also picked it out in a um, bright silver. Um, for these suits, in terms of installation, none of the stuff comes cinched together. What I mean by that is like the button down shirt um, is not connected, if that makes sense. So like the front lapels, you have to like match up and line up. And then same thing with the vest. Obviously you can't put it on so um, if it's all tightened up. So the flaps are just there and you have to line them up. And then same with the suit pants right around the crotch, uh, you have to line it up. And so I, um, for these, I just super glued them down. They're very easy. Um, if you ever want to install the suit, I would recommend putting your dots of glue behind the buttons because the buttons are kind of like sewn and glued on already. And so it's a good place to put them and kind of disguise your glue dots. Um, if for any reason they bleed through, it'll look better around the buttons. Thankfully, I didn't have to deal with any bleed through, but I think that's just a wise move in case you're thinking about that. Um, for the glue on the pants, I just put it right where the button of the pants would normally be. And so then I just cinched the pants together right there. And then obviously the belt just went over top. Um, the nice thing is that the, let me flip it around. Oop, there goes his hand. I'll grab that later. Um, the belts um, are, or, or the pants, I guess, aren't thick enough that they keep the belt from returning back on. So you can untab the belt and then actually re-glue it back together. Obviously, there's a little bit of a seam because it's been pulled apart, but I mean, you know, I didn't have to do really any adjustments or anything crazy. And then obviously, we have the shoes. Shoes have been repainted. Nice semi-gloss black. I painted the bottoms too. So, oops. Very fun. Very fun stuff. Great looking characters. Let me put on his hand real quick and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I just sort of set them back up on my table. Um... Final thoughts on these guys. They are beautiful. Um, buy a suit from him. Once again, I'll put his username in uh, the description of this video. Go follow him. I've been following him for like two years now about. And uh, he he just does incredible craftsmanship. I've never had the honor of owning one of his pieces of work, mainly because I don't really own figures with suits. I much more sit on the like super suit side and not like the realistic you know, dressy suit side, but these are beautiful and make me want to get um, a kit for like my Joker figure or something because I can't describe it until you have it in hand, honestly, but I'll try to do it justice. These suits feel like real suits and like the material is perfect in that it's very thin, but very strong. Um, it doesn't feel like when I have to pull on it or tug on it or put the suit on, I'm not afraid of damaging. I obviously still treat it with care, but um, there's there's quality behind this material. All the lapels already have like this pre-fold in them, and I don't know if that's how it's sewed or anything, but the pant the pants have like the front crease in them already. Just like the collars have a pre-bend in them too. So it's actually difficult It's actually difficult to flip the collar up to put the tie on because these have such a hard, sharp edge. It's, it's beautiful, you guys. I mean, no, I can't, I really can't describe it because I'm not a tailor. Like I can't tell you what he did or how he did it, but it's top notch. I'm giving you the like the mm, chef's kiss. So, um... Yeah, just a little overview. I didn't, I'm, this is right before finals week for me. So I didn't have enough time to like put to, you know, put together my review stage and break down step by step. Also, you know, the assembly and mods, they're, they're pretty simple. So it doesn't really like, I guess maybe need a full review set for me to explain everything. It's pretty straightforward. You know, if you know how to put clothes onto a Mezco, pretty straightforward. Just put the clothes on with some glue. But I had to highlight these suits. It, I would not, I'd be, probably committing a crime honestly if i didn't at least put these on film for you guys to see because uh they're just awesome so anyways yeah thank you thank you for watching that's my quick little thing i have paint all over my hands so i need to wash them off but yeah Alrighty. so thank you for watching my little quick overview i hope you enjoyed it um check this guy out that's all i can say take care